This video is about using Master Pages while making your Sprout. Using Master Pages makes working on your Sprout faster and more organized. When you have too many objects piled on top of one another, it can become difficult to select them or to arrange them in a certain order. So to remedy this, we have Master Pages. Think of it like this. All of your objects on your Sprout page are organized in a stack. Master Pages are on the outside of this stack. On the very bottom of this stack is the background Master Page. Anything you put here will be behind everything in your Sprout. On the very top of this page is the foreground master page. Anything put on here will be in front of everything in your Sprout. It's hard to see at first why this is useful, so let's take a look at an example Sprout that I've made. On this Sprout, you can see that there are lots of objects and elements. This could get confusing, but to make my life easier, I've taken advantage of both of my master pages. I have the rabbit on the foreground here because I want him to overlap everything and I've put the forest in the background so that it will always be behind everything. There's another reason master pages are really useful. If you want to make a new page, you won't have to set up the background or the rabbit again. You can see that they're already in place here. So master pages saves you time by cutting your workload down. There's no sense in spending a bunch of time arranging objects that you've already arranged how you want on another page. And keeping objects on the master page prevents you from accidentally selecting them. And that's how you use master pages in your Sprout. 